In Greece, our ancient fathers had a saying, which I believe is true. Life begins in the sea. Though we left those waters, the water has never left us. This was the place she told me about. It's the place she first discovered that she was one of them. Few people can slow down their heart rate to just eight beats a minute and swim to a depth where only the dolphins go. Like I missed the action, eh? No, you're just in time. Four minutes and 25 seconds. What? 425? Yes, Vanai. Listen, God gave you a special gift. Please, do something with it. Just don't come to my Theophany anymore. <laughs> Bless yes, you. Yes, Peter. 
Congratulations. Thanks. What's your name? Danai. Danai Barberi. Hey, you were amazing, huh? My name is Hector. I work at the Vios Institute on the island of Spetses. Uh, have you heard of Dr. Nicholas Viades? No. Should I? He trained Jacques Mayol. Oh? Jacques Mayol, the greatest free diver of all time. Then I. Look, this is a fantastic opportunity I'm offering you. My number is on the card. It's on the card. Use it. Yeah? Okay. Why did you keep coming back every year? Well, I've always gone since I was a little girl. Uh huh. And legend has it mm -hmm. that whoever retrieves the cross uh -huh. will be blessed with greatness. Uh huh. And that their lives will become full of meaning. Uh huh. <laughs> Delicious today, darling. Oh, please leave me alone. Now I have work to do. Now what if I say you can take the day off? Let me take you out for a good time. Hey! Okay. That supervisor is disgusting. He makes my skin crawl. I get used to him, Danai. He's your boss. I don't have to get used to that. stared at her picture, and you know, I knew she was special. In some strange way, I felt connected. Oh dear, now you really have to be nice. Excuse me? I can have you fired for this, you know that? You fire me? Yes, I can do that. Sloppy, stupid behavior. But do me a favor or two, I'll forget all about. <laughs> mm. ah! Ah! You're sick! Bitch! Hey, my ah! God! Ah! <laughs> Go back to work! You are finished, baby. <laughs> you think if I went out with him, he want me back? <laughs> you know, 
I always hoped that I'd get more out of life than working at that stupid factory. So, what are you going to do now? <laughs> Dana, you need to get real. You need to stop being a dreamer. What about that pervert? To you, every guy's a pervert. You know that Hector guy? The one that gave you the card? Thanks, guys. Come on. The doctor is a cool guy. He's not going to bite, okay? Come on. This is the main research lab facility. It's pretty busy most of the time. Doing. The doctor is always in search of a new world champion. Bravo, Andrea. Bravo, Alexandre. Hi. Ah! Hector! And this must be... Danai. Danai Ververi. John, some fresh tea, please. Well... Hector tells me you have some extraordinary qualities. Please. Hector may think so, but what could you possibly want with me? Okay, then I, we need you to pick it up. That's good. That's great. Hector's hunch is right on. Her heart rate's 8 over 60. Yeah, well, tomorrow they've told me that I start with some tests. But, you know, they pay me, so I'm not complaining. Hector? He's nice. <laughs> we'll see. Anna, I have to go. Big kiss. Love you. Who is it? Hey, it's like Hector. Can I come in? <laughs> sure. Wow. 
uh, I was talking to the doctor, yeah? And uh, he said that maybe you want to see the island a little bit, get... That was close. Um... What do you want to do? I want to be in the water. father used to say, when the question is difficult and the answer is simple, that is God thinking. What is this about? It is to remind me that I must respect the ocean. A man who does not respect her lives in danger. Mm. Where did you meet the doctor? I was in Kosovo, in the war. I was doing water analysis for the government in uh, estuaries, rivers. How the American bombs affected the Greek uh, waters. Anyway, so a shrapnel hit me in the leg, eh? Yeah. And uh, they wanted to amputate my leg. I was taken to a hospital in Athens. And uh, the doctors, they didn't know what to do with me. The others put me in a decompression chamber for two weeks. They filled me up with vitamins. They all said it was a miracle that night. An incredible miracle. I think he respects you a lot. The others does not respect me. He does not respect anyone. We understand each other. But what do you think he will do with me? When he discovers that you are a dolphin woman, he will try and show the rest of the world how clever he is. What do you mean? What I mean is be careful, Danai. No, no, listen to me. Do not let this man push you too far.
What was that for? I just wanted to see what she tastes like. <laughs> Maggie Stone is about to smash her own static, free-diving world record. Minute 23 seconds. That's all. Who is Maggie Stone? Maggie Stone of the United States, the best in the world. <laughs> she currently holds the women's world record. All the records. How deep? 226 feet, constant ballast. Each way? Yes, down and up. In two minutes, 33 seconds. Wow. That's what you're up against. You think you can do better? Yes. Hmm. What makes you so sure? It's in your report. Really? <clears throat> this is Kika Kurvik, the best in the world. Currently holds the men's constant ballast world record. 330 feet on a single breath of air. Wow. Well, yes. Wow. You will study him. You will aspire to be like him. Has a woman ever beaten a man? Good question. How would you like to take free diving seriously tonight? You mean in competition? Eventually, yes. Until then, I'd like the team to continue monitoring you while Hector here helps you with your thinking. The natural weight discipline is a good place to start. So? What do I need to do? Danai. Free diving is a dangerous sport. 
there are many things that can go wrong. The most obvious is asphyxia, or the lack of oxygen to the brain. This causes unconsciousness, paralysis, and death. When your body and mind are relaxed, your heart beats slower, requiring less oxygen. If you run out of oxygen at a great depth and asphyxia takes over, fear sets in. That is your chance for survival. Because if we can visualize that fear, embrace it, accept it, almost like we love it, then something very strange happens to us. The body naturally converts that fear into oxygen. Weird, but kind of, uh, kind of like a second wind. per square inch. That's impossible. Hector. Now I want you to be very careful. Don't get too close. Mm -hmm. For your own sake. Why don't you go and feed the dolphins? Where did you get these? Maggie. These statistics are way beyond extraordinary. If she shows up at any competition, everything that we have worked for will disappear. Listen to me, you little fool. I am Maggie Stone. I am the best. I always have been the best. I always will be the best. Competition is not about statistics. Competition is about experience. It's about mind control. When I'm down there, it's just me. Only me. There's no one else like me. Remember that, Ziad. No one goes where I go. Doctor. Mm. You know she has severe heart fibrosis. Oh. Nonsense, Lucas. I've seen this a thousand times before. Nothing to worry about. But she could die. Lucas, I've got news for you. We're all gonna die. records. Ah. Thank you, love. Mm. Kiss, kiss. Oops. 
Danai, that was really well done. Amazing. <laughs> Danai, how would you feel about having an unofficial go the current record? 225 feet? Yes, let's do it. Because I tell you, if you do it, or if you get close, <laughs> what we'll do is we'll, we'll call Aida in Geneva and we'll organize an official world record attempt. <laughs> no, no, no. You are crazy, man. You know, the night, talent is one thing. Experience, experience is another. You are crazy. Loco. Hector? Name is Mr. Nye Valveri, 20 year old physical education student from BIOS Institute. BIOS is challenging the existing world record. What is so interesting about that? Viadis was doing this long before any of us ever did. A world record attempt is nothing novel. Boris, Mr. Valveri is challenging the men's constant weight world record. Right on. Come on. No. No, no, no. Calm down, everybody, please. A woman is challenging a man's record. We always knew this would happen. But I do not want any mistakes. It must be documented to the highest degree of accuracy. Aida must not be made to look foolish. This is a diagram of the entire dive site. Safety diver is every 33 feet. Here, here, down to 231. Tonight, this is very important. Today, the temperature variables are extreme. Shallow water blackout is very, very likely. I don't think that's something we need to concern ourselves with today. I am the dive master, excuse me. All right. Shallow water blackout is possible at this point. Please all be aware. Are there any questions? No. Are we ready? Let's go. Yeah, hi, it's Mike here. In position, 100 feet. Over. Hi, 70, copy. This is empty. Visibility good. Yes, please keep your eye on this one. What driving to using, boys? 30, 20, 10. 2, 10. Slowing down to 10 over 60. Good. Here she comes, Seven. Here she goes. Over 60.
Hurry to stop. Nothing. Christ, where the hell is she going? did I do? You did great. What happened? You had a shallow water blackout at about six meters. Happens all the time. Sure. Oh, you should be very proud, yes. I want to try again. Good girl. Yes. What are you talking about? I can do better, Hector. Then I... You've got to understand what is going on. You've seen this many times before, Hector. He explained to me. It can happen. Oh, I'm sorry, Danai. I'm sorry. This is all bullshit. Hector! Asshole! Where are you going? You come across one of these people once in a lifetime. I told you not to get too close, didn't I? But you couldn't keep your dick in your pants, could you? Uh, ah! I don't need this shit anymore, okay? Okay! Get out of here! Don't ever come back here! I'm okay. disturbing. No. What? Hector? Yeah. Well? He went to London. I don't think he's coming back. That's probably a good thing. You know, Hector was the best dive master I ever had. Yeah. Unfortunately, he was, uh, too passionate for this line of work.
So, what is on your mind? I see you've seen the video of the Stone World Record. Yeah, very impressive. Hmm. You think you're better than she is? You know I am. Yes, I do. I know you are. You're the best, better than any man or woman ever. But deny the world. The world will never know it until you show them. I have something to tell you. I have this strange feeling here. And it's getting worse. Well, that, that's just... That's just... Hector. Stress. Tell me, do you want to be the best? Oh, yes, but... No buts. The world champion is undisputed. Undisputed means without doubt. Without doubt. So when do we start? <laughs> Zia. Good to see you. I have some important information that you should know. What is it? It is the Vaveri girl's most recent health certificate. Ah, good. I'm glad to see you're working with Viadis again. <laughs> but uh, what I want to know is why you brought it. Couldn't Viadis just have mailed it? Read it, Boris. It is important. Where did you get this from, Ziad? And it's not the original. I have the original. You will have the original when I'm confident that you don't accidentally lose this one. You obviously know what this means. It means you have this sworn duty to inform the council. And if you do not, I will tell everyone her dive was a fraud. That the esteemed Aida was influenced by cheap sensationalism. Very well, you can leave this with me. Goodbye. Cancelled? What do you mean, cancelled? When I signed your hospital admission papers, I put in coma. Coma? But I was not in a coma. It was concussion. I know, but I wrote down coma. Why? Because you were in a coma. Because I wanted to make sure you were attended to properly. Danai, under AIDA rules, a diver who suffers a coma is unable to dive again in competition. Ever. No. It's not true. I'm afraid it is. But how did they find out about the accident? Apparently, someone gave the Aida a copy of your health certificate. Who would do such a thing? Hector? Possibly? Hector? Oh, my God. You're not sure about this. It's hardly in keeping with Hector's character. He may be hot-headed, but he's not a cheat. But who amongst us would have access to those files? Then I will get you out of this, I promise. I never want to see that man again. I never want him near me. Hello, Danai Varveri. I'm sorry, Nicholas, but you understand our rules better than anyone. Our decision is final. Mm. Mr. Chairman, friends, the AIDA is the last true bastion of pure amateur athletics. Hmm? Why then? Does this organization, endorsed by the IOC and UNESCO, with all due respect, bend so easily to the winds of corruption? Corruption? 
The reason you will not sanction Miss Varvary's attempt is you've received information challenging her health, yes? Well, that is correct. Well, may I be so bold as to ask from whom this information was received? Varys? Miss Varvary's health certificate was given to me by Ziad Mustafa. I know. His motives are not the best, but it is the truth. It is here in this certificate. Thank you for your candor for us. Now, <laughs> Ziad Mustafa. Come on. He's a Hollywood agent, salesman, backstabber. He holds nothing dear to him anywhere approaching the sporting philosophy. Our judgment was based on the fact that Miss Vaveri does not have a clean bill of health. Yeah. Uh, Fred, may I... Uh... Ladies and gentlemen, I have a confession to make. When I wrote this certificate at the time of the incident, I was unaware as to the extent of the damage suffered by Miss Barberry. My only concern was to ensure that she received the best possible attention from the hospital staff. Now, in hindsight, I can see that my decision was correct. Unfortunately, my worst fears were not realized. After the shock, Miss Varvary made an immediate and complete recovery. But please, if you, if, if you must, punish me. Don't punish her. But it was Miss Varvary's inability to control this that showed that she was not ready, Nicholas. May I? Mr. Chairman, I was not ready. I did not have the experience. I do now. Would you wait outside? We must discuss this in private. Please come in. Miss Favere, never before in Aida's history has a board decision been changed based on appeal. Please, Mr. Chairman, the dramatics are killing me. But in this case, we have agreed to make an exception. Our decision has been ratified. Aida will grant your world record attempt. It means you get your shot. <laughs>
98. What's your neck? 99. 100. Keep going. Keep going. 102. 103. Don't quit. 104. No, don't stop. Oh. I can't. What do you mean you can't? Uh, uh, oh, I need to, need to rest. All right, you can go now. You're no longer welcome. One shot at this, and that's it. But no buts. That's all you get. Nicholas, don't be so no. rough with Quiet. her. No, quiet. Don't interrupt. <gasps> you fail, you can go back to your miserable little life. Uh, uh. But if you tell me you can't, then you're really no good to me, are you? Uh. Hmm? We understand each other. Back to one. You wanted to see me, Doctor. Ah, Lucas. Yes. Please. Cheers. Cheers. Tell me, Lucas, what do you know about San Diego? California? Not much. Ah. Never been there. Never... Never had a reason to go there. No friends there, anything? Not that I can think of, no. No. Sorry. No. Why? What do you need? I need the truth. The truth? I'm telling the truth. I know nothing about San Diego. You know, I had a profound respect for you, Lucas. I trusted you. I, uh... I took the liberty of having the accountants fax me a copy of your phone bill. It would appear that... You've been having quite a few conversations with my dear old friend, Ziad. That must be some mistake, Doc. I would never do something like that. No mistake. What was it, Lucas? Money? Is that what it was? I... You betrayed this institute, you betrayed me for money? Is that what it was? Is that what it was? Get out of here. What? Pack your things and get the fuck out of here. I said, get the fuck out of here before I kill you. just been fired. I know. You knew? Get off me! It was me who intercepted Ziad's call! I never trusted you, Lucas. You know, if she dies, it's your fault, too.
Lauderdale to this uh, cruise line. She gives a little free diving course. It is a stupid idea, but a lot of money. Ziad. The famous Dr. Vitis. Been a long time. Listen, Ziad, how would you like to come to Greece? Oh, why? To see how records are broken properly. Who in? October 8th, here on Spetsis. And her name? Her name is Danai Varveri. How deep? Hold on. Oh, he's not happy. He wants to know how deep you're gonna go. You're the boss. You tell him. Listen, you're still there. Duh. All I have to say, Ziad, is by the time my Danai is finished with your little Maggie's record, the only body of water you'll be splashing around in is that little puddle of piss on your office floor. <laughs> Maggie's records are unbeatable. Famous last words. Nicole ass. What is your game? In or out? In. And Nicolas? Yes, yes. Fuck you too. See you then. Good boy. I want him stopped. Oh, come on, Nicholas. This is Hector we're talking about. Do it. Go. Quickly. Mm. Julia, her focus is of critical importance now. Hector would just destroy everything. That's really scary. She could get seriously hurt. Just remember she's a human being. As opposed to what? Oh. You're kidding. Come here. I know what I'm doing. How you doing? Hey! What are you doing? I've been told not to let you in here. You want to stop me? I am going to You're stop you. You're going to stop me, huh? Me! Yeah, you. Me! Yeah, get out. Yeah? Get out! Yeah. Look at me, calm down. Okay. Where is Danai? She's going to do the dive. Bullshit! I did disqualify the dive. She doesn't want to see you. She said that? I'm so sorry, Hector. Hello, is that Rudy? Hello, darling. Listen, I was just calling to give you a heads up uh, about the competition this weekend. You're sending your best crew, I hope. Well, good. Yes, listen, just between you and me, she's going for it, Rudy. That's right. The world record, men and women's. 100 meters, 330 feet. Hello, Hector. Come in. I can't stay long. What are you doing here? I came to tell you I'm sorry. What? Sorry that I ever thought you could have betrayed me. <laughs> I would never do that to you, Dana. If you choose not to come to the dive, I understand. It would mean so much to me if you were there. The others would have me killed. I'm not a fool, Hector. I see things the way they are. The others has his agenda, but so do I. Why, Dana? Why are you doing this? What do you want to do this for? Tell me. For who? 
Who? Who? My father. The sea took his life and with it my mother. They were very caring people who never wanted anything from life. So you think that by doing this dive you just don't fight their existence? Hmm? I guess. I understand. So you will come to the dive? Yes, I will come to your dive. And when it is over, I will go. I have work in the North Sea, so I must go back to London. Maybe. I'm currently on the island of Spetsis in Greece, where this afternoon we're to witness a live broadcast of the much-publicized Battle of the Divas. <laughs> I wouldn't have missed that for the world. How do you feel? Please, do not touch the athlete. I tell you, my dear, if you make this record, you'll have every sponsor on Earth wanting a piece of you, including hers. Thank you. 
want you to set the marker at 360 feet, huh? 110 meters? Yes, and be sure it's well lit. You got it, boss. Are you okay? Your suit is approved and checked. In your own time, Ms. Valgari. Good luck.
judges still have to okay her. I guess she did what she had to do, but it is for her courage and her determination that I will always love her.